This video is about using VBA to open workbooks, save workbooks, and close workbooks. Workbooks can be accessed through the workbooks collection. Let's open an existing workbook. Sub demo XL1 workbooks.open C temp workbook.xlsx N sub. Now let's say you want to save an open workbook because you have made changes. Sub demo XL2. Just like before, we open an existing workbook. Dim WB as workbook. Set WB equals workbooks.open C temp workbook.xls x. Now we make some arbitrary change that will need to be saved. Dim WS as worksheet. Set WS equals WB.sheets1. WS.cells11.value equals 3. WB.save. This saves the workbook referenced by WB with the same original name. End sub. We just talked about opening and saving. Now let's see how to close a workbook. Sometimes you will be making bulk changes to a workbook and the user will not need to see the changes until later, so you close the workbook. Sub demo XL3. Dim WB as workbook. Set WB equals workbooks workbook.xlsx. WB.close. Workbooks is all the currently open workbooks. So to get a particular workbook, we either use the name of the workbook or an index, such as one. There are two common ways of working with an open workbook that do not go through the workbooks collection. This workbook and active workbook. Many times, this workbook and active workbook will mean the same thing, but here are two examples to illustrate this subtle difference. Notice that I have two workbooks open. Demo open close save dot xlsm, which is macro enabled, and workbook dot xlsx, which is a regular workbook that is not macro enabled. Sub demo xl4 message box this workbook dot name. This workbook refers to the workbook where the code is stored. You may have code in workbook A that opens workbook B. This workbook would refer to workbook A in all situations. It would never refer to workbook B. Now let's see what active workbook means. I still have the same two workbooks open. Sub demo XL5 workbooks workbook dot XLS X dot activate message box active workbook dot name. The code is running from demo open close save dot XLSM, but we activate the workbook dot XLS X, which is equivalent to the user clicking on that workbook. Active workbook refers to the workbook that has the user focus meaning the last workbook the user clicked on, or in this case, that we activated. If this video helped you, please watch my other videos, give this one a thumbs up, and subscribe.